Well, thank you very much, Emma. And um, can I firstly start off by congratulating and thanking uh, Natalie on your very nice welcome to country. And I too would like to pay my respects to elders both past and present whose lands we meet today. Uh, can I congratulate uh, Ahmet Pollat uh, and, your, and your whole team from uh, Affinity Intercultural Foundation for putting on such a fantastic dinner. And I understand it's 10 years now. I know you haven't been here for 10 years. I think it was three years ago you came. And I was there, and, the, and you're the, and now we know uh, Ahmet because he's cousin Ahmet, isn't he? <laughs> and those gifts, I'm sure, was from your other cousin's shop. <laughs> I remember. He keeps it in the family. So thank you, Ahmet, for your wonderful organisation. And I'd like to recognise Jihad Dipa. Uh, Jihad and I are co-hosting it. That means we get to give away things, and Ahmet does all the work. That's perfect for politicians. Can I uh, recognise uh, my parliamentary colleagues, uh, Luke Foley, Julia Finn, Paul Scully, the Reverend Fred Nile, uh, Felicity Wilson, and Melanie Gibbons. And Melanie said to me, I'm not allowed to, I'm, I'm supposed to say she's really fabulous. So where are you, Melanie? She's wonderful. That's what she told me to say. So. And G had seconds. It. Can I also um, welcome uh, Emma Alberici and all the other members of the media? that are here, and there's lots of members of the media, and we love the media. I love the media. <laughs> Especially when they say nice things about me, not, not naughty things about me. So welcome, can I also welcome all our distinguished guests, the community leaders, religious leaders, uh, business leaders. Can I especially thank the uh, um, Amity College Choir, they were really wonderful, such beautiful voices. And it's, it's such a pleasure to listen to them sing those wonderful songs. Uh, IFTA brings us together on uh, this special evening, uh, brings together family and friends for a meal, the sharing of a meal. And I think one of the wonderful things about IFTAs is they bring people from multi-faith, multicultural backgrounds together to share. One of the most basic things about human existence is to share a meal, share that dialogue, share that understanding. I understand that uh, for people who are non-Muslim like me, I really love iftas because you can be guaranteed, I know it sounds, you're guaranteed it always starts on time, <laughs> which we really appreciate. But the food is always fantastic. It's not so good for the waistline, I must say, because when you go home, you normally eat again. So that's two dinners in a row, but it, it is a definite highlight uh, month of the year. But I understand Ramadan is far more than that for the Muslim community. It's about spiritual renewal, it's about reflecting on oneself and their, your place in the community and how to live in a better community and what we can add is marked by sacrifice and reflection. And of course, Australia is a multicultural and multi-faith society. Australia is built upon waves of migration. My grandparents came from China some hundred years ago and Australia and New South Wales itself is a great example of the benefits of migration and how we build a strong community, a community that we can be proud of and is an example to the whole world of what multiculturalism can bring. And Parramatta, where I'm from, is probably a great example of that. It's a fast growing, vibrant city, a place on the move. And some over 50, I think it's about 52% of people were actually born overseas. And we have religions and cultures from around the world working together. It's no accident that, that Australia is such a strong and diverse community. Sure, we ha may have some issues, and of course, you'd be naive to say that there aren't issues in their community, but nights like tonight and events that we can talk and work together are important to make sure we continue that strength. We owe it to our whole community not to listen to the haters, not to let the haters divide us. We all have a role to play to ensure that we have the most harmonious, peaceful community in the world. So it's up to not just the politicians, not just the religious leaders, not just the community leaders and the business leaders, but to all of us as individuals to, to contribute to such a peaceful and a harmonious society and not let those haters divide us. Friends, new and old, thank you for coming to IFTA tonight at Parliament House, a, a Parliament of the People on behalf of the New South Wales Government. Can I congratulate again, Cousin Armit and your cousin shop and Affinity 
for your wonderful and generous hosting of tonight's event. Congratulate everybody here for sharing a meal, sharing a dialogue and making new friends. Ramadan Mubarak, I'm Jeff Lee, MP for Parramatta. It's an absolute honour and privilege to join with you tonight.